Hey guys, welcome to the Trophy Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tara Smith. From beauty to wellness, wife life, motherhood, and everything feminine in between, the Trophy Life Podcast is a place where you can feel inspired and empowered and ultimately create the life that you desire and deserve. It's hot to romanticize your life, so grab a mocktail or your favorite cozy beverage and let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to the Trophy Life Podcast. I'm so excited for today's episode. Today is actually our second episode ever of the podcast. And I actually had a topic I was going to talk about for the first or for this episode. And then I switched my mind. So I redid like my whole, what would you call it? I guess it's not, I was going to say set list, but I don't. That's definitely not what you call it for a podcast. It's basically just like an outline for the podcast. And my inspiration for today's episode actually came from TikTok. Shocker, I know, because I've been seeing this concept of a dopamine menu, and I'm sure you've heard of it by now. If you haven't, we'll get into it in this episode, but I am extremely excited to talk about that. Before we get into the episode, we're going to go over just our fun life updates and some of my favorites from this week. So a life update that I have is I went to Chicago for the first time for fall. My parents actually planned this trip for our family like six months ago or so. And it was so fun to be there during the fall. I love being on, I guess it's like, I don't know, is Chicago considered the Midwest? I would think so. But the humidity levels, in my opinion, were like so perfect. Maybe it's just this time of the year. Maybe in the summer, it's like more chaotic in with the humidity levels being, I'm guessing, a lot higher. But my skin was thriving when I was there. And I do live in Utah where it is extremely dry. I mean, it's a desert. So, you know, your skin's not really getting too much out of the dry weather here in Utah. But um, yeah, I love Chicago. It's always fun to visit a new city. And we went to the Bean. We went to some museums. Got to go to like the, uh, the Chicago Pier which was really fun. And of course, tried lots of yummy food. And let me tell you, it was my first time ever trying like an actual, I don't even know if it's called a roast beef sandwich, but Chicago's like known for them. And we went to a few different places. One was called Big Al's that we went to. We went, we went to um, Portillo's and the last place we went was called Mr. Beef. And apparently it's on a TV show called like The Bear. So if you watch that, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but no, everything was just so good. And I was like, okay, I'm I'm a fan. In my opinion, Mr. Beef's was my favorite, then Big Al's, and then Portillo's. Portillo's hot dogs, though, were so good. But I don't think that they're necessarily known for like their beef sandwich, if you know what I mean. So... I think I just preferred the hot dog over that. But by the way, Portillo's hot dogs, holy cow, those things are so good. We also went to a steakhouse and got some pasta, steak, oysters, a Caesar salad, of course. It was incredible. So for my five favorites for this week, I've been really thinking about them. Like I literally think about them basically for a week at a time. This one, I think... This was an actual week. So the first thing I have on here is they're called Soli is the brand and they're these Soli gummies and it's just guava and mango and they put them into these almost like fruit snacks, but there's no added sugars. It's literally just like you were eating dried fruit and I get them at Whole Foods and I am obsessed with them. I love them so much. They're so good and they're just a fun little either nighttime snack or a midday just yummy snack that I am obsessed with and I love. And the second I have kids or like, I guess, toddlers, I will be buying those instead of fruit snacks that are filled with all of those artificial sugars, seed oils, the dyes, like absolutely not. Those will not be in my house. I may or may not be like a little bit of a crunchy mom in the future, but here's the thing. So many of those ingredients are banned in Europe Japan, all these other countries where people are much healthier than they are in the U.S. And I'm I'm going to go with what they do. So <laughs> those are basically, basically my food standards, I would say, are very similar to, yeah, like Japan, Europe, other countries, not the U.S. though, I will say. 
My second favorite thing is the Apple headphones, but the corded ones. So I have AirPods. I have the Apple Max Pro. Wait, what the heck are those calls? The Apple Max Pros, those like big chunky headphones and hot take. I actually hate them. They are the best thing about them is that they cancel out their noise canceling. They cancel out all the noise if you're like on a plane or something. But for the most part, they are so insanely uncomfortable to wear. And they actually hurt my ears when I wear them on a plane because it's almost like the noise canceling is too good, which I know sounds funny, but I just find myself never using them because of that reason. So I always just go back to my corded headphones and with corded headphones, you don't get any EMFs. So I'm just obsessed with them. I wear them everywhere. Like if I'm going to the grocery store and I want to listen to a podcast while I grocery shop, put my corded headphones in. Love it. Next favorite thing. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is like one of the only products that I have had to like refill because I get sent obviously a lot of PR and stuff from being a content creator and the Josie Moran Vanilla Vibes Body Scrub and Body Lotion. Oh my gosh. It is like the most luxurious feeling body lotion and body scrub, but they're not like super aggressive. And the way that I can always tell if my body likes specifically a body lotion is when I put it on after shaving, if it has that stinging feeling, I know my body's like, don't give me this. Absolutely not. And I do, I actually want to try and make my own body wash or body scrub and body lotion, body wash too, because I've been making my own skincare products for the past, I think since July and my skin's never been clear. I, I use like tallow as the base for it, but literally I get so many compliments in person. And I'm like, I need to give this same energy to the rest of my body. It's just like one of those things that's on my list that like I'm kind of procrastinating, but honestly, I'm procrastinating it for no reason. Speaking of procrastination, I just realized that my sourdough actually needs to be turned. So I'm going to go turn my sourdough really quick and then we'll get back into the episode. Hello. Okay. We are back. Got the sourdough situation figured out. I actually, speaking of sourdough, if you like sourdough, I'm trying a eight hour sourdough recipe because I was desperate for bread and I did not want to buy the Whole Foods brand anymore because the normal sourdough process I do takes like four days. And I was like, I need it today. I need it immediately. So I'm doing that. And then if I like it, I'll probably just do another one tomorrow. I only did one loaf. So if it turns out even remotely good, probably just going to keep doing that. And I'll do that once a week because I can definitely do this super easy sourdough method. Okay, let's get back into my favorites for the week. So my fourth favorite, this one's so random, but I feel like if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you probably will get it soon because I feel like I've been seeing it everywhere. And it's the dark wine red color. Just like the really dark red that's so sexy and feminine. Like I'm obsessed with this color. I actually did it on my nails at the end of July because I was so excited for this color to like, I was, I was manifesting fall before fall was here and it was the most beautiful color. I'm actually not really a nail girl, to be honest with you. Like I hate getting my nails done. I do it because I have to, not because I want to. So I actually bought all my own gel stuff recently and I'm going to try and do my own manicures, but it just has been taking me so long that I don't love the time commitment. I'm like, I could spend my time doing so many other things rather than doing my nails. I've always been a press on manicure girl, but recently I've been liking the short nail vibe and I love like Russian manicures, but yeah, I haven't found a good Russian manicurist in Salt Lake where I live. So once I do, I'm sure I will do that once a month because that will be so worth it. Okay. And my favorite, my fifth favorite thing, this one, if again, if you get it, you get it, but it's specifically root beer, but it's not just any root beer. It's, I've actually been on the hunt for finding the best root beer. And I feel like I'm still looking. However, there's a brand that Sprouts carries and it's called Virgil's. The only thing I don't like about their root beer is that it has caramel color and a few other like preservatives in it. And I'm trying to find one that just has like cane sugar, water, 
and like some flavorings like to be as natural as possible. I just don't love the caramel color vibe of the Virgil's one. However, it's so much better than like A&W or Barks or any of those other brands. I think that's how you say it because they have like high fructose corn syrup and a plethora of other chemicals that I'm not really a fan of, but this Virgil's one is so good and I love it. I just actually ordered, um, I have like the Whole Foods subscription so I can get unlimited delivery, which is so nice because I don't even live close to Whole Foods. It's like 30, 40 minutes away from me. So I just do my groceries every week on there and it's such a game changer and it's like $9 a month. I'm like, girl, I would spend $9 at least in gas driving there and back. I mean, I guess my car is like an Ebri, an EV hybrid. So I guess maybe not, but either way, I love it. It's so good. So if you have any good root beer recommendations, please DM me, let me know or comment on my most recent Instagram post. Like I'll be, I'll be catching the vibes from you for sure. If you say that, and it's like some random root beer, <laughs> root beer company, everyone else will be like, what's going on. It's kind of fun though. It's like an inside joke. It's like, if you know, you know, okay. Moving on to the topic for today. So I recently came across the idea of a dopamine menu scrolling on TikTok as one girl does. And I kind of fell in love with this concept. Essentially, the dopamine menu is as follows. So you have your appetizers, which are quick activities for an instant mood boost. Some examples or one example, I guess, is like a five minute gratitude journal. Then you have your mains, which are longer activities, but offer a bigger satisfaction. Think like going for a walk, a workout. Then you have your sides, which can be done alongside other activities. So envision yourself like listening to a podcast while you're cleaning your home. And then last but not least, we have desserts, which are activities that are enjoyed in moderation. You want to limit these activities and be conscious not to overindulge in them. So think scrolling on social media. For me, it would be scrolling on Pinterest. And you kind of get the vibe. So I'm going to give you my current dopamine menu. And I kind of think this is something that's really fun to switch up every month, maybe even more often or every two months. I actually think coming up with the holiday season or the holiday season coming up soon, I think this is going to be so incredibly fun if you've never done this to start doing it now. Because when I was curating my own personal dopamine menu, I was just thinking of so many ideas for specifically Christmas because I am a Christmas girly through and through. It's my favorite holiday. I'm obsessed with it. Favorite time of year. So I was like, this is going to be so fun to curate. So I would say this is like my fall dopamine menu because certain things are definitely going to change or be replaced with other things. So for my appetizers, the first one I have on there is a five minute gratitude journal. I love doing this. I already do this. I would say like maybe 70% of the time. Um, and I love it. And I think it's totally something you don't even have to do it just when you wake up, but just doing it really anytime throughout the day, if you're just like not feeling it will definitely give you that dopamine hit. And then we have a five minute meditation. I love doing quick meditations throughout the day. If I feel like I need to get like on track for something and I'm going to actually throw in with meditations is high frequency vibes, like listening to, what is it? I think it's 528 megahertz. It's my favorite thing. Like basically just high frequencies. Yeah. 528 megahertz. And the podcast, I mean the playlist that I listen to on Spotify, it's not a podcast. It's just a playlist. It's called high positive frequency, raise your vibration by miracle tones. And I love it. I actually will listen to it a lot when I fall asleep at night and I'm obsessed with it. High frequencies are so wildly underrated in my opinion. And I swear they have helped so much with my anxious thoughts I might have. I feel like I mostly am someone who is loves to put a ton on my plate, like all the time. And I thrive best that way. But it's also like you need to make sure mentally you are taking care of your brain. And I really think that high frequency and meditation are two incredible ways to do that. And they really can take five minutes out of your day. So 
as you can see, I'm a big fan of those two things. <laughs> and then the other appetizer I have on here, I think this is the only food thing I put on here, but it is my caffeine free chai latte. I love this latte so much. It's um, I think it's actually on my Amazon storefront. So if you're a caffeine free girly, check it out. But it's raw milk, the organ chai, caffeine free chai. And then I'll switch up the creamer. I love the Sprouts creamers. Those are my favorite ones. Right now I'm using the Sprouts pumpkin creamer. It's just like the Sprouts brand. I've found that those have like the best ingredients in them. And then I also love their vanilla creamer. So I'm obsessed. And I hope they come out with like a peppermint one. Actually, peppermint and chai don't really go together. Never mind. But either way, it's it's very fun. I mean, maybe they would. I don't know. That's what's I don't drink coffee, but I'm jealous of coffee drinkers because you can literally put any type of creamer in your coffee and it's probably going to taste incredible. Okay. The last one I have on here is planning out my meals for the week. I do this every single Monday. I actually did it before I started filming this episode and it makes me feel so good. And even if something, even if I end up not cooking something, at least I have a plan. So I know in my brain, okay, we're eating this on this day. And it just feels so good knowing that I'm not like, what am I going to cook for dinner? Cause I already made that decision. Sometimes this takes me a little bit more than five minutes. Um, but usually I'll try to have like recipes planned out beforehand if I want, or I'll just do like repeat recipes that I've already done before. Moving on to mains, these are going to be longer activities, but offer a bigger satisfaction. The first one I have that I do every single day because I have a dog, honestly, is I go for like a 30 to an hour long walk. Recently, we've been going for probably about an hour and my dog loves it. I love it. I'll either I usually will go by myself without my phone. That's my favorite way to start my morning because I've noticed that my brain when I wake up is very reactive if I'm not careful. So I don't like to check my phone in the morning because I just know myself. I feel like some people are totally fine with that. Um, like going on social media right when they wake up and they're again, fine with it. My brain is just, it doesn't, it does not vibe well with that. So love going on a walk. And then after my walk, I guess this is another main is heavy weightlifting workouts. I am so obsessed with lifting heavy. When I tell you, like it will change your life if you are a woman specifically. I don't know why there's this narrative around women and lifting heavy, but any trainer I've ever had in my entire life who works with women who are like bodybuilders, but like not like not like the girls that are like competing in competitions, but the girls who are like that that fit look but still like slim and very toned, I would say probably tones like the best way to describe it is they lift really heavy. And you wouldn't know that from looking at them. You'd probably think that like they just run all the time, but I am obsessed with lifting heavy. And when I was a competitive athlete in really like high school and when I went to college for literally five seconds, it was all like very heavy lifting and yeah, it was awesome. Loved the results from it. So I've been getting back into that recently and I highly recommend it. Like even just lifting with heavy dumbbells, it's incredible. The next one I have on my mains is, this is kind of funny because it's like, makes sense, but it's cooking dinner at home. And specifically, I love, love watching my show or sometimes I'll listen to like jazz music while I'm enjoying a little beverage or a bev, if you will. And then I'm cooking. So there's just like really good vibes going on all at the same time. And I would also throw in here cooking sourdough or baking sourdough or baking in general. I have been obsessed with like fall time and baking. There's just so many fun recipes like Half Baked Harvest. I've talked about her in the first episode, in our first slash last episode. And she just has the best recipes for food and baking. It's just so fun. Okay. For sides, these are, again, they can be done alongside other activities, which, hello, I feel like women are so good at multitasking, so I feel like we were all made for this, okay? I have on here listening to a podcast while cleaning. My favorite podcast, well, I don't really switch it up with podcasts, true, truth be told, that much because I feel like I'm very picky in particular with the podcasts that I like, so I really like listening to 
certain episodes by Andrew Huberman and certain episodes on The Skinny Confidential. And I also really love Emma Chamberlain's podcast. I think it's cool because her podcast dynamic is very similar to mine where most of her episodes are just her talking. And that's what I've also envisioned for this podcast, which I feel like is more rare. And I just love it. I'm excited by it. So I love listening to her episodes. And um, same with like the him and her show, The Skinny Confidential. They do great. They have great guests on there. And um, I love listening to their guests that are usually women, honestly, and and or like fitness trainers. Um, I love their episode with the founder of Force of Nature. The episode was so good. And they just have really good guests on that usually are very informative. I don't usually care about like the pop culture guests because normally when I listen to their episode, I would say like I'm in the mood to like learn something new or learn learn a new way of life slash um, you know, just I'm open to like learning when I'm turning on their podcast. Um and then I love Emma's podcast because it's just like fun entertainment, more chill, more casual. And I love that vibe too. Now the next side that I have is a sauna session while meditating or I guess vice versa, meditating while doing a sauna session. I am obsessed with our sauna. We bought our sauna basically when we, when we bought our home last year. It was like one of the first things that we wanted to put in our home. So we got that and I have, I don't even know how many times I've used that thing, but it's definitely a lot. I love it. And it's super good for like your thyroid, your immune system. I mean, there's so many benefits to a sauna detoxification, but I love meditating while I'm in there because I'm getting like two things done at once. And normally I'm in there for 30 minutes. So I usually do like a 15 minute meditation. And then sometimes I'll watch like Kardashians while I'm in there. I guess that can also be a side. Who knows? Um, But no, I love that. I love doing that. And then the last thing I have is listening to jazz music in the shower. This is technically multitasking, I guess, because when I'm taking an everything shower, I guess with an everything shower, I'm listening to a podcast for sure, because I will be in there for a solid 30 to 40 minutes. So we got to have something a little bit longer or even like a YouTube video. But if it's like a short, quick shower, I love either truly like silence or just some jazz music. Like it just sets the vibe. It's so good. I am obsessed with jazz music. Okay, moving on to desserts. These are activities that are enjoyed in moderation. You want to limit these activities and be cautious not to overindulge in them. So the first thing I thought of when I thought of this was social media. But then I was like, that's not something that I go to to be like, I'm not intentionally going on social media and scrolling. Maybe you are. But for me personally, I was like, no, no. The only social media, which I don't even think this is the social media app, maybe, is Pinterest. I will intentionally go on Pinterest just to have the time of my life. Honestly, I love Pinterest. I've never been to a party that's as fun as Pinterest. And that's saying something. Because when I lived in LA, I went to a lot of really fun parties. But let me tell you, there's nothing better than sitting in your bed at night with a cozy blanket, maybe a heated blanket if you're feeling really crazy. You got a snack, you got your water, it's got some ice in it, and you're scrolling on Pinterest with like a face mask on. Like, that is peak girlhood. I don't think it gets better than that. I don't think so. So that's definitely on my dessert menu, for sure. Then we have watching a movie or a show with Colby in the evening. Colby's my husband. We watch a show or a movie every single night together. Sometimes we'll have popcorn, we usually have some snacks, And I love it. It's like literally my favorite thing ever. If anything, we always both have a massive Stanley or whatever next to us. If you're on YouTube, I love it. It's my favorite. And then our dog is always cuddling with us. And it's just, it's like, I love life. (laughs) That's like what my brain is thinking the entire time. I love it. Then we have, I don't know if anybody else does this, honestly, but I do this all the time. And sometimes I'm like, why am I like this? But then I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to judge myself. We're just going to roll with it. I scroll on shopping websites, Revolve, Aritzia, Abercrombie, Dolce Vita, whatever my heart is desiring. And I will just put things in my cart. Okay. Sephora too. 
but I won't actually buy anything. I just put them in my cart and they just sit there. Oh, J. Crew. I do this a lot actually on J. Crew recently. They will just sit there and like I'll just let them marinate in my cart. I might come back to them and buy them, but 99.9% of the time, they're just like rotting in the cart basically until they sell out. And I think there's something to be said about the dopamine hit that you get when you just add it to the cart. Like that feeling is so fun and it's almost just as fun as buying it. And sometimes that's all I want and I don't even actually want the thing. I just wanted to like add it to my cart. So it's really like an efficient way to have fun as a girl, but not having to spend any money. So, and being more cautious, more conscious of the things that we are buying. So I love it. The last thing I have on here is pinning new recipes to try on Pinterest. So a lot of the time when I go onto Pinterest, I'm like specifically looking for something. And I do this a lot with recipes at nighttime. If I'm on Pinterest, I'm just doom scrolling. Like I'm just on there for fun. I'm here for a good time. Sometimes when I'm looking for like dinner recipes or to bake something, I love going on there and just indulging in all these fun, creative recipes. I seriously have found so many fun, healthy dinner recipes on there recently that are so easy. And I freaking love it. Even I would say same thing with baking too. There's actually one recipe that I have not found and I've baked like six different recipes and it's cornbread. I am such a cornbread snob and I cannot for the life of me find a good gluten-free cornbread recipe. And I've made all the ones that I've made. They were all from scratch and I don't use like canola oil or I don't cook with seed oils in general, which I feel like is what is making it hard because there must be something with butter and cornbread that's just not meshing well with my baking skills, clearly. But I'm actually going to try the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free cornbread next because there was a girl at my church that said she used that for <clears throat> the party that Colby and I threw, which by the way, Colby and I were in charge of a Halloween party for our church. I'm not kidding you when I say it took us 50 hours of planning to do this party, like planning, prepping, all that kind of stuff. 50 hours. It was insane. That is so much time. <laughs> Anyways, going like so much time for a party, but it turned out really great. The, um, the bishopric of our ward, which is basically like our church said that it was the best turnout that they've ever had. So I was really excited about that. But essentially, that is a dopamine menu. Don't mind my random comments at the end. Got a little bit of ADHD. Actually, it's not. I'm My ADHD is not as bad as it used to be. It used to be so much worse. And I'm very grateful that it's not super chaotic anymore. But in case there's moments like that, now you know. I loved this dopamine menu concept. And I will most definitely be recreating this in I'll be probably coming back to this in a month from now and maybe we'll have to like give a little refresher on what's on my dopamine menu at that point because I think it's just a fun thing to like switch up I will say Pinterest and my workouts aren't going anywhere probably same with cooking and baking but maybe they'll switch to like a fun theme like Christmas so you know Good vibes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. I had so much fun and I can't wait to hear what your dopamine menu is. Let me know, DM me, comment on my Instagram posts, whatever, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you enjoyed it, make sure to join the Trophy Life Club. It's a free community for the girls, but yours truly. And it's on Instagram. It's just at Trophy Life Club. You can also follow me at Tara Kelly Smith on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. If you have an extra minute, I would also love and super appreciate if you would review the podcast. This will just help us reach more women who could use a little TLC, aka Trophy Life Club, in their life. So I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.